Howdy. Is this the way up to the monastery? Yeah, but it's shut. No one allowed in. The monks, uh, they're on strike. Wow. What happened? Someone make them work ungodly hours? Nah, I don't think that was the problem. Hi there, buddy. Sorry. We got a virus loose. Old place is locked down. Those poor monks. Going on strike when you got a virus. That's the pit. Whatever. I can't let you in. Howdy, fella. Sorry, pal. Monastery's closed. Tell father notice. Oh, gee. Well, ain't that just my luck? Yeah. Ain't it? And my two pretty sisters here are so looking forward to seeing the monastery. Life's full of disappointments. Sure seems that way. And the monastery's definitely up there, huh? Yes, but I'll still be there tomorrow. Oh, we fly back to Austin tonight. Well, isn't that a shame? So, why's the place closed? VIP visitors. Wow! That's exciting. Wh which VIPs? A foreign prince. The prince of where? Yeah, that's the one. Wow! So we can't let normal folk in? Oh, of course not. No, not if the prince of where is there. Did you tell the prince about the virus? What? Your buddy said there was a virus. Did you warn the prince? Uh, well, there's no need. He's, uh, immune. Oh, of course. <laughs> Stupid me. Everybody knows that. Time for you to go, pal. I guess it is. You have a nice day now. And you. We're moving away from the monastery. Yes, but with those goons in the way, we have to find a different approach. Maybe there's some other way around, via the cable car station? Or at least someone in the... can tell us what's going on. Someone's coming out. Quick! We need to hide! I think it's Langon. Block everything off. Lock the whole place down, understand? The tabula's got to be up in the monastery. I'm sure of it. Come on! Yes, boss. Close all the routes up to the monastery, and then make the old man talk. Yes, boss. This time, don't be so gentle with him. Did you hear that? They haven't found it yet, but Senor Marquez must be in a bad way. Listen, I have to follow those bastardos. I might be able to slip through on my own. Sure. We'll see if we can find another way up. You think she'll be okay? Eva can handle herself. It was locked. There was a keypad, but I didn't know the code. My God! Nico! What is it? This telescope! It's free!
It was the other station for the cable cars. There was a small chapel perched on the edge of the cliff. It looked ancient. Wait, what's that? That rock looks familiar. Nico, take a look at this and tell me what you see. You're right. That rock looks like a head. I've seen that shape before. Take a look at this. The face in the Ouroboros. It's exactly the same shape as that rock. That can't be a coincidence. And you know what? Langham's got the forged picture. The one without the face. So the rock won't have meant anything to him. Nico, I don't think the tabula's up at the monastery. I think it's down there somewhere, around that rock. There were a couple of people stuck in the cable car. They look kind of familiar. Then I realized it was my old friends Dwayne and Pearl Henderson. The Hendersons had an uncanny way of showing up wherever I went. They didn't know I'd seen them. I needed to give them a signal. I signaled them back. I wasn't sure they'd seen it. Pearl was mouthing something and gesturing. Pearl seemed to be writing something on the window. It said, help, stuck. Door code 0797. I wondered how Pearl came to know that. Come on, Nico. Pearl's giving me the code to the door. What? Pearl? Who? How? Trust me, Nico. I've got friends in low-hanging places. Huh. There's no one here. Looks like everything has been shut down. A metal lunchbox. Someone sure wanted to keep their cheese safe. Hey, is anybody there? Whoa, did you hear that? We're stuck in here. Help! How about that, Nico? A talking lunchbox. Huh, what will they think of next? I better take it with me. There was no lock, but the door wouldn't open. Go away! Hello? Josh? There's someone in there. Are you alright in there? Just go away! The control panel looked complicated. It wasn't powered up. And the smell of burnt electrical components hung ominously in the air. The cogs turned, but the rest of the mechanism didn't seem to be engaging. The console circuitry looked pretty complex and dangerous. The box was now wedged in the cogs, or rather, 
the giant can opener. That's quite a mess you've made there, Georges. You know what they say about making omelets, Nico? You can't make them without strawberry jam? Strawberry jam was smeared all over the machinery. Just as I thought, it's a two-way radio. Uh, can anyone hear me? Dwayne, this is George. George Stobart. Holy cow, George. Just the fella I need. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, Dwayne. A and don't you worry, I'll have you out of there in a minute. Uh, you reckon you can get the cable car running again? No, the console isn't working properly. I've got no idea why not. Cat? Is she the girl in the closet? Has she locked herself in? Oh dear. Let me talk to her, darling. Cat? Uh, uh, wait, 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 please, we mean you no harm. Please, come out. I'm staying right here until I know it's safe. Cat, I found you a friendly voice. How do you know my name? Cat, dear, it's me, Pearl. Pearl? How did you get here? That's not possible. Listen, darling, it really is me. I'm talking on the radio. George here is a very decent guy, and you should open the door. I'm not going to fall for that. Prove it's you. All right. Remember we discovered we both love musicals? Yeah, and my favorite one is? How does it go now? Help me out. I am the very model of a modern major general. Of information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical. From Marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. Um... I'm very good in integral and differential calculus. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. All right, only Pearl would know that, and I trust her. Who are you? I'm George, and this is Nico. How did you end up in a closet? There were some guys with guns. They took over the whole station. I hid in here. We're trying to avoid them, too. I was quite surprised, you know. They never mentioned guns at the job interview. Really? Uh, we need to use the cable car. Can you operate it? Yeah, if the console was working, but they sabotaged it. And there's no way to get it started? Mm, there might be. Let me see. See that burned-out fuse down there? In the back by the prongs? Yeah. The idiots stuck a spanner in there and blew the fuse. They wanted to make sure no one could use the cable cars. Connect those two prongs somehow, and the console should restart. How on earth are we going to reach that? I don't know. But don't stick your arm in there. You'll get fried.
Well, I'd done stranger things in my life. The paperclip was now all sticky. I stuck the paperclip to Trevor's back. I'm I decided to get closer to see where Trevor would be safe. Trevor could help, but I couldn't just throw him in there. I set him down at the edge where it was safe. Go, Trevor, go! Poor Trevor looked like he needed therapy, but the console was working. The console, it's working. Cool, I can send you down there if you want. Let me just bring the cable car up here. Pearl and Dwayne are gonna be mighty relieved. Oh, they must have been going down in the other cable car. Come on, Nico. There's no time to lose. As we got closer to the face in the rock, I knew for sure that we were on the right track. It was definitely the same as the face in the painting, but with one difference. The symbol of the tabula was missing from the rock formation. Well, here we are. Hmm, but no way to reach the face. Let's have a look around. There must be a way up. 